Good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is, year 10. Um, starter 6, question 1 is a standard form question. Um, we can do a lot of this um, without having to sort of think too much to start with. Uh, 8 times 2 is going to give me 16, and I'll multiply it by 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 6, multiply by 10 to the power of 3, adding the powers, that'll be 10 to the power of 9. Um, this isn't in standard form, I just need to change the decimal place from here to one smaller and if I reduce this number by a factor of 10 I've just got to increase this number by a factor of 10 to balance it so that will be 1.6 which is correct standard form to the power of 10 sorry multiplied by 10 to the power of 10. Second question only two bits of information that are important 90 pounds um, in the ratio 4 to 5 so we need to share this amount of money in the ratio 4 to 5 the first thing I'm going to do is add up my uh, ratio parts. 4 plus 5 is 9. Then I'm going to see if I've got 9 parts, what's one part of my ratio worth? So I'm going to do 90 pounds divided by 9, which gives me 10 pounds for each part. Once I know that each one part is worth 10 pounds, just multiply by 10 for both ratio parts and you will have the correct amounts. So that will be 40 to 50 pounds. third question, slightly more difficult indices um, problems here today, we've got uh, one with brackets and if I wrote this out properly it would be um, b multiplied by b multiplied by b three times inside the bracket and I want two of those brackets so b multiplied by b multiplied by b. That's that expanded out properly and if we now look at how many b's are being multiplied together we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. That is indeed 3 times 2, so we don't need to do this, this is just a visual um, representation, but 3 times 2 gives me 6, and that's how many Bs I'm multiplying together. And then the second one is negative indices um, problem. Now, what it wants you to do is to convert this into um, a fraction. Now, m to the power of minus um, anything is the same as 1 over m to the power of its positive number. So if this was minus 2, m to the power of minus 2 would equal 1 over m to the power of minus uh, to the power of 2 but as it's minus 1 we just express it as 1 over m to the power of 1. Okay question 4 is a surface area question not to be confused with a volume question um, we're looking at a cube here and a cube has six sides and that's very important for this question now the surface area the area of one of these surfaces now as it's a cube um, I know that the front surface there is 5 by 5 and in fact all of the dimensions of this are 5 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters and if I want to find the area of one of them well the area of a square is just uh, the side length multiplied by itself 5 times 5 gives me 25 centimeters squared and if I've got six sides I need to do six lots of 25 and that gives me 150 centimeters squared for the surface area. Okay, question number, oh, not question number five, isn't it? Yeah, question number five. So Martin's baking some cookies um, and he's used 210 grams of uh, flour, good luck finding that anywhere, um, for seven cookies. Now, for one cookie, how much flour are we gonna need? Well, seven divided by seven is one. So if I divide the amount of flour by 7, tw 210, well that's 21 multiplied by 10. 7's into 21 goes 3, 7's into 210 goes 30. So each cookie has 30 grams of flour. And so to find how many I need for uh, 15 cookies, just multiply 30 by 15 and you'll find that you need 450 grams of flour. Okay, and the last question is on uh, highest common factor or HCF and the highest common factor between 20 and 16. Now we could split this into prime factors and then you know, do some working out and find out what it is. But as these are both quite small numbers, all I'm going to do is actually just list the factors of both numbers. So I know that that's 20 and 1. I've got 2 and uh, 10. I've got 4 and 5. Are there any more? No, there aren't. So 16 is going to be 8 and 2, 16, and 1, and 4, and 4. 
and the biggest number that appears in both of those lists is 4.